right. What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. Now I already know what you're thinking. Nasser, you said you had the final exam of your life in this video and the final exam of medical school in this video. And now you also have another final exam. Now bear with me, they were all final exams in their own right and I'll explain. So the first one was my final written exam of medical school, which was supposed to be combined with my final OSCE or practical exam of medical school, but then the OSCE got postponed. So then I did have a final OSCE exam of medical school. I passed those, I graduated, I'm gonna be a doctor, but then now we have one other exam that just enables us to prescribe in our first year. It doesn't stop me from working as a doctor if I don't pass it, but it enables us to prescribe. And it would be very difficult to be a doctor without being able to prescribe, so we need to make sure we pass. So let me show you my schedule. This has been my study exam schedule over the last couple of weeks. So the prescribing safety assessment is an exam which tests our competency in all things prescribing, drugs, and pharmacology related. So let me show you here on the computer. It tests our prescribing, prescription review, planning management, providing information about different medications to patients, calculation skills, constituting, reconstituting drugs, calculating uh, rates and durations of volumes to be given, things like that, uh, adverse drug reactions, drug monitoring, and data interpretation. So the exam is two hours long with 60 questions. And for me, that exam is actually tomorrow. Now I bet you know exactly what I'm about to say next. Cut. I told you. All right, let's just get started. I've already done all of the practice papers that are available from the official prescribing safety assessment website. They've been completely fine. And now what I'm doing is doing the past paper questions on QuesMed. QuesMed, you guys have probably seen in my vlogs a couple of times before. I've used them as a question bank for studying throughout medical school, and I think they're fantastic. Although this is not a sponsored video, I do have an affiliate code for them that I'm gonna leave on screen over here and in the description down below. You guys can use that for a discount when signing up to their plans. Highly recommend the platform. But anyways, they've also got mock tests for the prescribing safety assessment. Ignore this last one over here. I had to stop the exam less than halfway through, so I didn't finish it. So I didn't get 26%. Here we're gonna start with mock D. One thing I wanted to mention is that this test is kind of an open book test in the sense that we have access to this thing called the BNF, which is kind of like this huge document or catalog, which has every single prescribable drug you can possibly think of. And then it has all kinds of information about, um, you know, what dose to give for different indications or diseases or conditions or whatever what to do in pregnancy and breastfeeding, renal impairment, hepatic impairment, etc., etc. Now, obviously just having this doesn't mean you're gonna score 100%, but it obviously helps quite a bit. Anyways, I think I've been talking for too long. I'm gonna sit down, put on my headphones to block out this mm, terrible construction that's been ringing in my ears every single day and just get started. So I'll see you in a bit. Peace. All right, guys, test all done, score of 80%, which I'm very, very happy with. I think that's the highest that I've scored in the mock tests so far. Yeah, which is great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review all of these questions. So of course, on Notion, I have all of my studying and notes for this prescribing exam. I've gone through and taken some general notes on a book called Pass the PSA, which I have over here. And then as I go through the different questions, I write down all the most important things, the things that I think I really need to know, I don't want to forget at all. Over here under use, useful stuff, not useless stuff. Just have a long, long list of everything here. And then whenever I read a question on something that I want to do, so uh, something that I want to take notes on, so let's say for example, anti-diarrheal medications, I'll just search diarrhea, if I can spell it properly. So then I have all the culprits for that cause diarrhea, culprit drugs that cause diarrhea, anti-diarrheals, and I have them here. So basically any question that I come across where I want to take extra notes, I just control F for that specific section and then take more notes over here. So any question that I come across where I'm not satisfied with the answer or I'm unsure of the answer or something like that, um, I hop onto WhatsApp and ask Kenji and Georgina for their opinion, or my friends from my placement line, which you guys will have met before, Rachel, Fred, and Nilly, the ones who I was in Dartford and Ashford with. getting the drug calculation questions wrong because they should be such easy marks. All right, I only got one wrong, which I'll take, but still, it should be easy, easy marks. Cool. That was very quick to go through, actually. Let's sit down and have a chat. 
All right, guys, look, I'm a level with you. Been in university education for nine years now. I'm a couple of months away from graduating medical school. This is my last, last, last exam. Genuinely, this is the last one. <laughs> There's nothing more after this. After this, I've just got clinical placement uh, for another couple of months, but no more exams. Anyways, I am just so, so, so done with studying. Genuinely, I feel like when I was younger in my previous degree and my earlier years of medical school, I felt like I could just study forever and I was so engrossed in everything I was doing and, and I never really had a problem with it. And then I think for the last set of exams that I had for the OSCE and then for this exam, I just feel like I can't give any more and I'm sitting here trying, trying, trying to study because I know that's what I have to do. But yeah, sort of this is the strongest time in my life where I felt a disconnect between needing to study and wanting to study. Anyways, the truth is that I feel completely prepared for this exam. All of the practice tests that I've done have scored extremely well. I should touch what do I say all this. So I'm not worried about not doing well on the exam or anything like that, but kind of more for like peace of mind and feeling like I know that I've done everything that I can in order to pass this test and succeed. I want to do a little bit more studying. I think I'm going to read through my notes so that I can do something a little bit different than the past paper questions, then do one more past paper and then probably just call it a day, play some video games, edit a video for next week, relax, etc. And that's it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. All right, so I'm mid studying, but a couple of exciting things have arrived in the mail. A fidget cube. Now I know that I'm a bit late to this trend. These things came out ages ago, but since I'm always sitting at my desk fidgeting with all kinds of different items, I thought I would try this out. Ooh, that feels kind of good. So it's this small cube and it has a bunch of different things that you can fidget with on it. So here's like a light switch. This is like a joystick, like on a controller. Here you've got all these buttons with like different clicking intensity. There's this rolling thing here. This is like if you're inserting a code on your lock and then this like ball trackpad thing. So I'm gonna be playing with this on my desk whilst I study now. Back to studying. All right, guys, that is it for me. The time is currently 12.30 and I think I'm done. Just did that last pass test. I'm happy with my score. So you know what time it is. That's it. So yeah, no more studying for me today. I'm about to go make some lunch and then I think I'm gonna go to the driving range actually and just swing at some balls and get all my stress out that way. I'd rather do that than just sit here and feel like anxious for the rest of the day at my computer. Also, if you're wondering about this, I see it. Obviously needs to be fixed. I'm gonna get a haircut later today. So that'll be, that'll be, that'll be corrected. Anyways, gonna grab some lunch and I'll see you when I'm heading for golf. Peace. I know I said car reveal and car stuff for another video, and that's still true, but I want to give you guys a little sneak peek while we're on our way to golf. So this is it, this is all you're seeing. Stay tuned for the video when it comes Please out. Please follow the road. If anyone's got good tips to correct my form or technique, do let me know. I'm still very much a beginner with golf, but I'm trying to get better because I love playing, so yeah. Let's see if I can improve. Well, that was fun. A lot faster than I thought it would be. Only played for about 40 minutes. Definitely have a lot of improving to do. I think I'm gonna do some golf lessons at some point later in the summer to, to make sure I get my swing down. But anyways, time to head home now and get a haircut. Let's go do that. <sighs> All right, I made it home, but driving in London is so stressful. Like there's so many different lights and lanes that you have to be in at the right time. Otherwise you can't make the turn that you wanna make. Everything's so narrow. Oh, it's, it's stressful, it's stressful. I've been driving for eight years chill as can be and this is mad mad chaotic and on top of that on top of that it's been one day and i have a parking ticket <clears throat> i'm not gonna go into the details but i'm gonna take the bus to get my hair cut okay <laughs> i need to <laughs> i need to relax <laughs> i don't want to get in the car again today that was mad mad stressful so anyways i'm gonna i'm gonna pay for this now and then go get my hair cut and i'll see you guys after that
Peace. All right, we are back home. I got my hair cut and it's looking all right. So yeah, I think for today, I'm probably not going to do anything. I'm not gonna do any more studying, that's for sure. I might play some Call of Duty or video games with Kenji or my sister if she comes home early enough, we'll see. But I'm probably just gonna relax, try and take it easy, do something fun, watch a show or something like that. And yeah, just um, unwind before tomorrow. Still feeling a little shaken up by the whole parking ticket, driving in London thing, but I'm trying to zen out and just <laughs> chill and uh, you know, unwind and relax and shake off that feeling. So yeah, if I do anything interesting, I'll pick up the camera. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for my final last ever exam of medical school. Let's go. Woo! All right, here we go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, last exam of medical school, last exam of my university life. Woo! Can't believe it. We're actually going somewhere that most of you will be quite familiar with. It's probably how a lot of you found my channel to begin with many, many years ago. So if you recognize it, let me know in the comments down below. Let's go. All right, so we're almost there. I just need to find somewhere to get myself a cup of coffee. It's gonna last me through this two hour exam, keep me nice and energized, etc. So let's go. The most odd thing just happened to me. So I got my coffee and I'm walking to the exam area and I run into one of you guys, a recent law graduate who watches my videos or used to watch my videos before they graduated. Anyways, I was just chilling and chatting a guy called Ben and then the police come up to me and they're like, hey, I noticed you were filming some of the buildings here. Blah, 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 blah. Why were you doing that? And I was like, yeah, I just make videos on YouTube, da, 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 da. And they're like, there's an important case going on today. Were you filming the courts because of blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I, I didn't even know this was a court. <laughs> I'm just going to my exam. I, 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 I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, Anyways, then they saw the footage, they're like, yeah, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. They were very nice, but it was just so random, caught me completely off guard. Anyways, anyways, I'm gonna go to the exam hall now. Yeah. Oh fuck, I'm out of breath. Talking and vlogging is hard. I'm gonna go to the exam hall now, log into my computer, get everything ready, sip some more of this coffee. I'll catch you guys later after my last exam of medical school. Ah, peace. All right, guys, I just got home. One very important thing to do. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I've just finished my last exam of medical school. <sighs> wow. Wow. That is, oh my God, that's actually mad. In case you're wondering, the exam I think went quite well. It was a lot more time pressured than all of the practice stuff that I've done. I usually finish the practice stuff in like half the time it would take and this one, I had about 15 minutes left or something like that. So yeah, it was a lot more time pressured, but going back over my answers and the questions that I had marked that I wanted to look at again, I think I've, I felt quite good. I'm, I'm happy with how it went. So I'm not worried. I think I've passed and everything's gonna be okay. Honestly, for those of you who have been watching me since I first started making YouTube videos back in second year of medical school and have followed me on this journey all the way from baby medical student to now final year medical student and about to graduate. Honestly, thank you. It's, uh, it's absolutely mad that anyone would want to watch my journey in medical school from all across the world and, uh, you know, support me and leave me comments and, you know, egg me on and keep me going through difficult times. I, uh, I appreciate it. Absolute madness. Absolute madness. I'm, uh, I'm gonna pack. I've got my weekender bag here. I'm gonna go away uh, for the weekend to Hastings, which is somewhere in South London by the coast as part of my effort to explore more of England and see what it has to offer. And yeah, gonna go for the long weekend. Just enjoy some time uh, with my friends and celebrate practically finishing med school, which is absolutely crazy. I guess that brings us to the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, uh, for taking the time to watch this video and come on this journey with me. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.